Always on. On air, online, on mobile. Fox TV News at 10 starts right now. The gloves are off and the battle is underway for Ohio's 9th Congressional District. Good evening. I'm Sean Hegarty. Laura Emerson has the night off. Incumbent Representative Marcy Captain Rich, I had faced off in their first debate tonight. Fox Toledo's Heather Miller was there. She has details on this war of words. The theme of the debate centered on education, health care, and jobs, as incumbent Democrat Marcy Captor and Republican Rich Ayat squared off at Bowser High School. Both came out swinging. We don't have a revenue problem in this country. We have a spending problem in this country, and we need to stop irresponsible spending. That's one of the places to start. If there are projects that are going to happen, absolutely, we should go forward and try and, and secure those projects. But to go out and get federal dollars, taxpayer dollars, just because you can do it, I, I don't believe that is that is a, a good expenditure of federal money. If my opponent really believes that, he's running for the wrong office. He should run for President of the United States. Because what... And now, not to be, to just to chide him a little bit, he probably has enough money to do it. The captor camp claims that Iant, the former head of Food Town, sold out his workers when he sold the chain to Spartan, could eventually close all the stores and put 5,000 people out of work and without a health care plan. So she's not surprised he's against health care now. You got the gold, you got huge profits, your workers got the shaft. Iant calls captor, who's been in office since 1983, a career politician who's presided over tens of thousands of jobs leaving the region. He says that's part of our country's problem. Congress people who use their seniority to trade favors back and forth, to trade earmarks back and forth, to trade votes back and forth, spend in a reckless fashion that got us in this situation. Captor and Iant both think they'll do the best job representing Ohio's 9th Congressional District for the next two years. That'll be up to the voters to decide. Election day is just a few weeks away, November 2nd. Heather Miller, Fox Toledo News. Those in attendance at tonight's debate were spirited as they heard from both candidates. We caught up with several people who were in the audience after that debate to get their thoughts. It was a very spirited debate, um, it was very interesting. It um, brought out a lot of uh, uh, points that needed to be made, and um, I enjoyed it. Basically, I thought that uh, Marcy kept running on and on after the minute was up, and uh, to me, that's definitely a response that you're not well prepared, and you're, and you're really questioning yourself. I thought uh, Red Giant, for being a newcomer, had a complete presence on the stage and gave uh, very good answers. Well, it hadn't changed my mind. I still think he's a big liar. My wife got fired from Food Town. It's rotten. My big beef right now is fiscal responsibility. As a uh, single parent, I've had to make adjustments to the fiscal responsibility of my home and my family, and I'm looking for a candidate who is all about that. And don't worry if you missed tonight's debate, we have you covered. On Monday, October 11th, we'll broadcast the televised debate between Captor and I, the Toledo Free Press, also helping to put that event on. A limited number of tickets are going to be available on October 1st.